baby, ooh, baby. I always get like overwhelmed when I do hauls. Oh my goodness, if this will come out. Oh, she looks like she's gonna be good. Oh, that's interesting. I actually placed another order. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. So last week I did the recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. I actually went ahead and placed an order. I actually am going to have a two part haul. So this is part one. I actually placed another order. I have more coming. I have a problem, but we, we're just not gonna talk about it. This is part one. This is the first package that I got and I have more to come. So if you love Sephora hauls, you wanna see what I got in my Sephora VIB sale haul then keep on watching. So yes, this is part one. I'm going to have a part two coming probably next week. We have lots of stuff in this package right here. So lots to discuss. I'm really, really pumped to show you guys what I got in my order when I was taking advantage of the Sephora VIB sale. Before I get started, if you aren't aware of the Sephora VIB sale, they do it twice a year. So this is the spring savings event. They also have a holiday savings event, which is right before Christmas. As many orders as you want during the time period that your membership gets. So if you are just an insider, which is anybody at all, your first time shopping at Sephora, you still get 10% off for a limited amount of time. I believe it starts on the 15th and it's still like the 19th. And then if you are a VIB member, then you start on the 13th, I believe, and you get 15% off. And then if you're a Rouge, which I am, the sale started on the 9th of April and you get 20% off. Now that we have kind of gotten that spiel out of the way, let's take a look because I'm so pumped. This is stuff that I'm very excited to be reviewing. A lot of it is new to the market and actually this part two of my haul that will be coming soon is even more like newer, newer, newer stuff. A lot of that stuff is like brand spanking new. So I am so, so, so excited. Like this is like Christmas all over again. First thing in my package here is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is one that is not brand spanking new, but it's still relatively new. So this is one that is very well loved. I've seen a lot of reviews on it and I've seen really, really good things about it. So I just had to try it. I recently tried the L'Oreal 24 hour one and it was really, really good, but it didn't hold up like I would like it to. So I'm really excited to be testing this guy. As you can see, packaging by Fenty is always stunning, just like the actual packaging here. So when you open it, ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Apparently it's supposed to be a very lightweight, um, light to full coverage powder foundation, and it's supposed to not be cakey and hold up really well. So I've heard great things about it, and I'm really, really excited to try it. I'm most likely gonna be doing an actual dedicated video on a lot of this stuff. I really, really like doing dedicated videos because number one, it gives me the chance to really dive deep really focus on the product. I find that you guys enjoy them better. I get, you know, better response to those videos. It's maybe because you guys are searching for that specific product. Let me know in the comments below if there's any products specifically you'd like me to review. And if you'd prefer dedicated videos or if you want me to just kind of test a bunch of it all at once. I'd actually curious to see whether you would prefer that or do you like when I do specific videos on the, the specific products. I got it in the shade 120, by the way, sorry. You know what, let's swatch it. Let's just do it. I don't wanna mess up the like little symbol. So that's the shade, that's 120. It looks like it's gonna be my shade. Another product from Fenty Beauty that I got is the Ease Drops. We've got Ease Drops, guys. So this is a very new product. I got it in the shade one. This is a light to medium coverage tint. So it's supposed to be for all skin tones and it's supposed to blend and blur to instant perfection, it's light as air. I'm most definitely going to be doing a dedicated video on this one because it's like viral. Everybody's talking about it. So it's a lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves your skin looking blurred and smoothed in flexible shades for all. Not as wide of a shade range, but they're supposed to be like more universal shades. So I got it in the shade one. It's more of almost like a the idea of a tinted moisturizer type thing. So it's not gonna be like crazy coverage, but it's gonna be more like easy, simple, very natural, like no makeup days. Even out your skin tone, be very lightweight and comfortable. Um, so I'm really, really excited. If it like gives that blurred effect, I would be pumped. Um, yeah, let's open it. I always get like overwhelmed when I do hauls. This is what the actual packaging looks like. I love Fenty Beauty's packaging as well. 
so really really cute that like frosted matte finish as i said i got it in the shade one so it like has a little dropper and i actually really like the packaging of both of those so this is oh it feels like very um almost creamy Ooh, it has more coverage than i thought it was going to and it looks like it is kind of smoothing out the skin on my hand i have very textured hands right now because they're like bone dry I should have put some moisturizer on before I recorded this. That actually looks like it might be very nice. Very natural, but very nice. So yay, I'm excited. The next product in my box right here is from Huda Beauty. So Huda Beauty came out with some new lip products. So these are the Lip Contour 2.0. It's an automatic lip pencil. It's matte finish. It has a retractable tip. It is ultra glide formula that effortlessly defines your lips so this one here i got in the shade pinky brown if i'm gonna go with a brown i like it to be almost like a more pink undertone oh my goodness if this will come out i can't get it out oh there we go ah the lid is stuck in there looks like we're gonna just have to break this one because it was really in there really hard to get out what is happening i'm really just gonna rip it because i'm gonna lose my mind in a second all right, we got it. So this is what the actual product looks like. And this is the shade right here. So that's pinky brown. That's actually stunning and like a go-to shade for me. I'm really, really pumped. It's a beautiful matte finish and it looks very like, um, like that kind of blurred effect, which gives a very, very um, stunning effect. So I'm really pumped to try that. And I also got the Power Bullet Cream Glow Cream Lipstick in the Sweet Nudes collection. So I got the shade Sweet Cheeks. So the cream formula is new. It's an ultra hydrating, ultra comfortable lipstick that gives a natural fuller effect, which is exactly what I like. So I really, really like packaging of this as well. And this is the actual bullet. This is the shade of lipstick I got, which actually is perfect to look at. It's like slightly, slightly lighter, which is going to be really stunning. Okay, moving on. I got the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. So this is another one I saw a lot of. This is supposed to be volumizing, lengthening, lifting curl enhancing smudge resistant with intense color instant dramatic volume meets high performance wear so it's a very like chunky tube which I like I really like packaging of this as well let's take a look at the Ooh, she looks like she's gonna be good look at that that looks like a nice wand I like that when it has like a um, fuller base so I'm excited to see how good this is because I've heard great things about this one as well I definitely am always down to try a new mascara a product I got that is not new that I actually haven't tried I think I maybe tried it once or twice when I was like a teenager so I don't even remember what I thought of it but it's a product that's very well loved and known for a, it's an OG fave of many. And it's the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm probably not gonna do a video on this. I'm gonna most likely just test this on my own because oh, everybody knows about this one. But it is one that really just everybody loves. And I'm working on, if, you, if you've heard me say in the last like four or five months, many times that a best and worst video for my primer and my concealer are coming, believe me, I'm working on it. It's really tough for me because I'm testing products all the time. So I want to use, like if I'm testing a foundation, I want to use a primer that I know and love already. But then I also need to test the primers that I'm not as familiar with. So believe me, I'm working on it. It's going to be, it's going to be here soon. I promise. I'm not going to give a timeline because I feel like when I do that, I just like stress myself out and yeah. So this is one that I needed to test before I do my best and worst because it's like a well-loved one. So got to test that. And that's in the shade light. 0.23 in Madeline. Another concealer I got that is not new but very well loved is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. So this is another one, again, a lot of people really, really like, and it's one I just wanted to try. Number one, because I'm always down to find better products. I want to have the best of the best, especially if I'm going to be re recommending them for my best and worst video. So this is a high coverage liquid concealer infused with hyaluronic acid. It gives a creaseless soft matte finish while correcting and smoothing the look of imperfections. So all that sounds great. And ooh, the applicator is like quite long. That's different. 
So this one is in oh, much lighter. So that will definitely be a highlighting concealer. So I'm really pumped to try those two concealers that I know everybody loves. I have the Beauty Blender Bounce Powder. So I haven't tried anything from Beauty Blender in a long time. I tried their foundation and concealer and I actually didn't love either of them. They're definitely not my favorites. I find they're quite drying on my skin and I just am not in love with them. I was really pumped to see that they came out with a powder because I'm hoping that that will be different. I absolutely love my Beauty Blender, the actual sponge. So I'm really, really excited to to see how this performs. A silky setting powder that smooths and locks makeup in place for an airbrushed finish without any caking or flashback. I feel like all powders are advertised to give a silky smoothing effect, but let's hope that this one does. I mean, I love my Beauty Blender. It gives the most airbrush flawless finish for foundation. So hopefully they've come out with a powder that can do the same. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa, number one, it like exploded. Definitely a little bit messy, but I think it actually, there's a, like that white sheet there, the white paper. I think you're supposed to peel that up, but it kind of came through. So that's what's happening. Well, I'll deal with that later, but it did kind of, did kind of make a mess. I have some on my thumb here, so I'm just gonna, oh, it almost has like a shimmer to it. That's definitely surprising. Hopefully it doesn't come up too glittery. No, it doesn't look like it's going to be. Um, you can't really see it on the skin, but it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I will be reviewing that one for sure, whether I do a dedicated video or if it's just in like a testing new products video. Um, I will most definitely be doing a review on that as it is quite new. So if you're interested in seeing how the Beauty Blender powder performs, then don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing lots and lots of videos. But yeah, it has an illuminating soft focus. So that's the illuminating effect. I got some stuff from the Inky list. I got a ton of stuff around Christmas time and I did a review after I tested them for about two and a half months I did a video where I kind of went through every product I had gotten and I talked about them and whether I thought they were good and honestly all of them I thought were incredible some were better than others but all of them I definitely still use and love so I got some more stuff from them I got the salicylic acid cleanser so I do like cleansers with salicylic acid as I am blemish prone and I have combination skin I definitely am interested to see if if it's too drying or not because some salicylic cleansers can be a little bit drying so I will update you guys I'm obviously it's gonna be in a little bit because I like to give products a good test so that one's not gonna be a right away type review but stay tuned again you can subscribe if you're interested in any upcoming reviews and another one is the Sassinic acid treatment so this is again for acne prone skin like a spot treatment it has succinic acid which is something i'd never heard of and it's supposed to actually help get rid of acne and treat acne without drying out your skin so hopefully that is the case i'm most definitely going to be testing that as well i'm actually really pumped the product very similar to that is the peace out acne treatment dots so they're salicylic acid they're actually like stickers that you place on your acne and they have salicylic acid Acid, and I think the sticker helps like really um, force the product into your skin and it's supposed to also prevent new acne from forming. It has polymer technology that helps extract imp impurity impurities while creating a protective barrier that guards against external irritants. I've been wanting to try these for a very long time so I finally got them some new stuff to hopefully keep my skin even more balanced than it already is. Another thing that I got is the cream blush light from Melt Cosmetics. If you guys know me and watch my channel before I absolutely have fallen in love with cream blushes and this one is a matte one. I do have days where I want a more glowy look but I do prefer matte blushes most days so this is one that i'm really really excited to try melt cosmetics is a brand i've been really testing lately I've tried their eyeshadow i've tried their liquid lipstick their lip liners their eyeliners their blushes their highlights honestly there's so many things from melt cosmetics that i've really 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 enjoyed and honestly have become new favorites of mine and so this is hopefully going to be another one of those i got it in the shade honey thief so there's a couple matte shades like matte formula and then there's a few with a more shimmer formula this is the shade it's like a nice kind of peachy coral oh that looks nice oh I already feel like I can tell it's gonna be stunning obviously I have to test you know does it apply well over top of foundation does it lift or does it just apply airbrush and smooth hopefully that's the case oh it already look at how stunning like it it blended out on my hand seamlessly already 
Ooh, I'm so pumped. Okay, next product is from Morphe. So this is the 18T. It's the Truth or Bear um, 18 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. So I, I really do love Morphe for so many reasons, and eyeshadow is one of them. It is a more kind of neutral shade color scheme. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely stunning? I'm really, really excited to try that. It has a lot of like soft browns, warm, cool toned. It has a couple pops of like purple, kind of like plum. This is a color scheme that I really can get down with and I'm really, really excited to test that as well. And Morphe is a very affordable option and it is nice that it's now sold at Sephora. They're really incredible quality considering their price as well. So excited to be trying this and it's a color scheme I think could be very universal, very versatile and very user friendly for a lot of people and more like natural everyday type like look, the last product I got is the Ilia Blue Light Filter Mist. And this is a setting spray. So I got it in the mini because I have so many setting sprays, like I do not need a full one. And especially when I'm testing a new one, I liked the mini and then if I love it, I'll repurchase it in the full size. So that's why it is smaller. So if you don't know what blue light is, like it's basically from screens, from computer screens, from um, TV screens, any type of screen, it emits blue light. And it actually is harmful to your skin and to your body. There is a lot more um, studies on it and a lot more products are coming out with this blue light protective filter. So this is a setting spray with a blue light protection. For people that um, are sitting in front of a computer screen, whether you have a desk job, whether you do something like this where you're on YouTube or are you an influencer, like anything where you're on your phone or your computer, this is a great way to have that kind of protection. There's certain creams and skincare products that have come out recently, you see that more with blue light protection but it's cool to actually see a setting spray so that is very interesting I'm really excited to test it it is also supposed to be hydrating and it balances surface oil so it's gonna help hydrate your skin give it a more like flawless you know hydrated look but it's also going to help balance your oils which is good it's infused with active levels of marine actives finely atomized mist forms an invisible veil on the skin to shield the skin from blue light really pumped to test that I thought that was really really cool especially considering I am on my computer a lot editing videos and this day and age we're on our phones all the time even just posting social on social media for my business for my YouTube so yeah that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed definitely stay tuned for some really really exciting reviews and and stay tuned for my part two. I have another package on the way. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for upcoming video notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.